Hi everyone, my name is Darshan, and welcome to my video series, Physics and Philosophy, where I make videos talking about cool physics that really makes you think, and helps you understand the beauty of nature a little bit better. If you're into physics and want to know how the world works, but don't really like the math, this is the channel for you. Let's start by asking a question. What is stuff made of? Well, maybe that's a bit too broad, so let's ask a more specific question. What is light made of? If you've heard the word photon, then you know light is a particle, but you've probably also heard the word wavelength, which determines the color of light. So which is it? Is light a particle, or is light a wave? Today I'm going to show you a really simple experiment that you can do in your own home to find the answer. Here's what you need to set up. Three cardboard boxes of roughly the same dimensions. Two flat straight edges, so this can be pieces of paper, poster cards, credit cards, really anything with a flat edge. You're going to need a pair of scissors and some duct tape, a book or any elevated flat surface, a piece of paper, and a laser light. I got this one for like $5. The first step is to tape your piece of paper to one of the boxes. This will act as a sort of screen for you to shine your laser onto. Next, tape your cards onto the other two cardboard boxes, kind of like this. Put the two boxes with the cards next to each other, like this. Also put the box with the screen further down. The further the screen is from these two boxes, the better. We'll call these two card boxes the slit. And if you look down the slit, you should be looking directly at the screen, like this. Now for the final step. Put the laser on the book and shine it through the slit so that you can see the dot on the screen down there. Now, this dot makes it seem like the laser is just made of a bunch of particles, or photons, that get shot down and hit the screen. A wave wouldn't look like that, right? Well, let's try something. Push the two card boxes together so that you make the slit really narrow. If light really were made of particles, what should you see on the screen? A small, vertical slit, right? Well, let's see what's actually on the screen. It turns out our prediction was wrong. What we see here is called wave interference, or diffraction, and it's what happens because light actually also acts like a wave. When the wave constructively interferes, you see bright spots, and when the wave destructively interferes, you see dark spots, which is why we see little beads going horizontally here. As it turns out, everything is made of both a particle and a wave. You and me, the device you're watching this on, the clothes you're wearing. The thing is, we don't notice because the wavelengths are so small that we kind of just treat them like particles, and that works out. This alone is philosophically very satisfying, but there's actually a lot of practical applications to the wave nature of light and so-called diffraction. Diffraction with lasers can be used to measure really tiny objects really precisely. Astronomers use light diffraction to measure properties of planets and stars really, really far away. Medical scans like optical coherence tomography use light diffraction to detect abnormalities in certain tissues. The way data is stored in and read from DVDs and Blu-ray discs is light diffraction. And that was just a few of the many, many ways light diffraction is used in different parts of the industry. That's all for now, everyone. I hope you learned something new, and I hope I inspired you to go learn more about our beautiful world. Please check out the links in the description if you want to learn more and see my sources. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and share if you want to learn more physics and philosophy. Thanks for watching.